God. What the hell? Here we are. What? And at the same time, Veronica's home, Charlie. Did you hear that? Veronica just walked in the door. Hi, Veronica. Hey, Veronica. How are you? We just went live, Veronica. Would you like to come down and be live with us? Oh, honey, you're never an interrupt. The snowman had a fall. Did you see that? I don't know. Somebody must have put him back out there. I moved him earlier. Did you really decorate the house last night? Yeah, I the Christmas. Somebody did a bandit. <laughs> Christmas bandit roamed roam through my neighborhood and put my Christmas lights back up, and my Christmas and my Christmas snow fan. Both of them <laughs> put them back up. Awful, <laughs> terrible event. <laughs> Scary as hell. Welcome to your vape at five. Now you're probably wondering. Oh, I'm your host. I'm Black Cat. With me as always. Well. Uh oh, somebody's coming down the steps, Charlie. This could get real serious, really. Oh shit, here it comes. This is not good. This is not good at all. Oh no. There he is. There's the snowman. <laughs> There's the snowman. Like Honey, it was, a, it was, it was, so, I, I don't know who did that. I have no <laughs> idea. That, that is a mystery that will probably never be solved. So, today, so. First off, let me introduce myself. Let me reintroduce myself. My name is Hove. No, my name is Black Cat with me. Charlie, now you're expecting to see right over here. You were expecting to see Coil Chief. I was too. I was expecting to see Coil Chief as well. I, we don't see Coil Chief. Do you know why we don't see I'm Coil not, Chief? I'm not Coil Chief. You're not he's in the military. Do you know that, Charlie? No, I he's didn't a, he's know. He's an that. active military member. I thought he was an Indian. Country. I thought he was an Indian. I thought he was <laughs> Native American, Charlie. Yeah. Don't fuck with my heritage. You know that I'm part Native American. I told you that, didn't I? Ooh, I'm not Thank judging. you, Veronica. Let's knock stuff over while you're down here. I think you're part dipshit. Part two. That's not very nice. Hey, my shirt came. What's up? There's your shirts, yes. Well, Mr. Coil Chief got called into the commander's office because somebody that he reports to, or somebody that reports to him, was caught doing something he wasn't supposed to do. Emergency, national security, apparently. So, I, I got Charlie was at the ready. I told Charlie, I said, join the show, man. Just join the show. Hang out. Me and you can hang <laughs> yep. out. And he said, yeah. He said, that sounds like fun. So, here he is. It's me and Charlie. Right here. Thanks for five minutes of notice, Scott. Thank you're welcome. It was more like three minutes. This show is a well-oiled machine, Charlie. You have to be at the ready at all times. All I yeah. I'll so, be on standby from now on. What I need you to do is, uh, for, so right now, this this is your mission. I know you are you are kind of you're like the wolf from Pulp Fiction. You get things done. Now, anybody who knows who the wolf is, the wolf is who you call when when you shoot somebody in the back of your car and have to clean <laughs> it up. That's kind of like Charlie. One name, same like one name, Wolf Charlie. Same <laughs> thing. We're going on that line. Listen, I need you to find out who the hell Coil Chief's commanding officer is. And I need to place a call to him immediately and tell him I'll what exactly is happening. Hey, give me uh, give me just a minute. Let me make a few calls on Coil Chief. I'll be right back. Do Take that. the show for a minute. <laughs> Do that. Let me know because I need to know exactly. I need him to know exactly who he's fooling around with. Fooling around with the Black Cat fam. What's happening, everybody? Good to see everybody. Look, we're going to go through and say hello. Got a couple things I got to talk about today. Got a really exciting show that's going to be on right after this one um and from uh some of our friends who are mixers graham digital if you know him uh, i believe max savage he's in there as well it's going to be over on the developed uh youtube channel now i was going to put a link in the chat or in i can't put it in the, well you know what actually i can put it in the chat let me do that i do have the link hold on one second one part of wall see if i can find it I'm going to put a link in the chat for it here if I can. Develop. There it is. Oh, maybe not. Son of a gun. If anybody can put that link in the chat, I would appreciate it. I just had the damn link, and I went away from it, and now I can't get it back. Let's see if I can scroll down. I know what it looks like. Anyway, they're doing a show right after this one. I uh, got to watch a little bit of it yesterday, and it was fantastic. Pre-recorded show. Very, very well edited. I believe Graham edited it. 
and it looks fantastic. So I hope everybody can get over there and check that out. It's going to be on 6 o'clock right after this show. I'll remind you again before we get out of here. How's everything going, Charlie? How's your day? How's everything All right. been going? I just had a visit at my door from uh, a special ops guy. Apparently, they didn't like me making calls to find out who Coil Chief's commanding officer was. Did, did you tell him who he's fucking with? Did you tell that special Oh, I did. I said, this is the Black Cat Whiteface show, and I'm special ops co-host, That's and you need to haul your ass. And so they're going to deliver the message that Coil Chief needed to be here today, and his commanding officer is going to get a few docs on his well, I'll tell you, if that if that dude wants to talk some, wants to give you some lip, if that guy wants to give you some lip, let me tell you something. You tell him that we know Steven Seagal law, man, and he will put the beat down on his ass if, he, if need be. Yeah. Not a problem. Or Veronica. Veronica is safe for very, very special situations. <laughs> Veronica, Veronica would say for, Veronica will kill someone. I thought about that driving home today. I was like, Veronica's probably going to kill me one day. Veronica, are you down here still? No, she left. I think she's going to kill me one day, Charlie. I really do. Because <laughs> I do little things like this, like redecorate the house for Christmas. You know, it's it's like a that. good thing you're on the internet. At least someone will notice you're missing. I'm telling you. And, and that's the thing. That, uh, all you watching today, anybody who watches this video, which will probably be like, I don't know, 105 people maybe if I'm lucky. All of you people who watch it, make sure that you report it to the police if I come up missing. Fucking Veronica, for sure. Let me get back into the chat. So hey, I had chat. a plan. I had an interview ready, Charlie. Would you, can I give you the interview? Do you want to be sure. the builder? You might not like the answers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, why don't we do this? We got the uh, – let's talk about – <clears throat> the progress let's start out with the progression of the vape hot tub shall, shall we go down that ra- that avenue we've, we've got some changes we're making Exciting let's do things. it we're going to uh, you want to you want to start that off we've got several changes we're going to be making to the vape hot tub first up maybe before the other change is we're going to be having some special guests coming on the vape hot tub very special which is exciting. We're even going to have some women coming in the vape hot tub. Preferably women in the vape hot tub. <laughs> That's right. And the wives don't need to know. They don't need to know what's going on in the hot tub. What goes on in the hot tub, Charlie? Stays in the hot Stays tub. Stays in the fucking hot tub. Yeah. So we're looking at having some guests pretty soon. We're going to start the guest. We're going to start it off with a uh, somebody you probably all know and love. I know I love her. Probably all know and love her. Who are we gonna start off with, Scott? Who you really want to know, Charlie? Uh, I you, really want to know. You really want to know who who yeah. Black Cat got b- booked? Who I booked for the show? I'm 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 a I'm, a, I'm, I'm an pick, amazing booking. It's probably agent. some homeless person you picked up that had a sign that said "We'll work for food." <laughs> Sandra Bullock was our first guest. Really? Yep. She'll be here Thursday. Sandra Bullock. You heard it here first. I have Sandra Bullock booked. For the vape hot tub. Couldn't wait to do the show. She, she must have seen the bird box challenge. She she actually did. She did. She <laughs> contacted me. Um, and, and I, t- I, I told her I'd have to call her back. And then I made time for her today around lunch. You know, Sandra. And uh, yeah, I booked her for the vape hot tub on Thursday. So that, that's what we're, that's, who's our, that's our guest. Yeah, I'll settle for that. Is that okay? I was hoping it would be someone even cooler. Well, you know, I can't, she's kind of a, she's like a, I don't know if she's an A-lister. I mean, she's pretty close, but you know, what are you going to do? It's our first guest. I mean, sometimes <laughs> you get Sandra Bullock, you know, sometimes you get Lady Gaga, you know what I mean? Well, we can yeah. work on that though. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So what, let's talk about vape mail. Vape mail. Can we? I kind of busted my nut on vape mail yesterday. I got some really cool shit. I got something in uh, pretty cool yesterday. Um, I'm I'm totally late to the game, uh, but I got the profile in yesterday. You got the profile in? Yeah. Shout out to D Bone. He uh, he may be watching the show. He's a black cat fan. He's a black he's a black cat or he's a black cat fan. 
So I got the profile in um, yesterday, built it last night. While I don't have the um, the off strips yet with the Wotofo strips, it's a little bit cool. But man, the flavor on this thing is amazing. Is it really? Yeah. It's um, it's a totally different vape than um, because it's a cooler vape, but still so flavorful, and it's a very there's like no spitback. It's a very smooth vape. Really? So yeah, the flavor is. The flavor is really good, and it's like a consistent flavor every time. Really? You yeah. Have squonk, you're squonking it? Yep. So I got it on the screen. Is the mesh – what metal is the mesh? Uh, this is Canthal that I'm running. What's the, what's the dome out at? Um, I think it's .18 on the package. I've got a .21 built in. So it moves. You got a little bit of a little change Yeah. when you actually get it. I have one actually, but I'm going to use it for a giveaway. I actually have a profile, uh, but I haven't used it. And I've heard so so many good things about it that I'm really interested to try it. And I think I I think I ordered another one. I can't remember to actually try it out. But uh, I'm a little late to the game, like you said. It's like I like to review it, but I'm kind of late. You know what I mean? It's like why review it now? Because there's you know everybody's already reviewed it. I could be wrong about the cancel. I thought it was on the package. Uh, but it doesn't say cancel. Does does it say what it is? No, not that I'm seeing. <clears throat> I, I think that's odd. I, that's one thing I don't like about. That's a big pet peeve to me when they don't put the metal of the coils that they provide on the, on the, on package. the packaging. Yeah, you know because I've had that with some sub tanks before where they just have the resistance of the coil and you actually have to go look it up to find out what they made their coil out of. A lot of sub ohm tanks are that way. They don't tell yeah. you exactly what it is. And I just assumed all mesh was Canthal. And I know they make a stainless steel mesh too, I believe. But that's a completely different vape. Stainless steel is a completely different vape than Canthal. I mean, it's night and day, really. Yeah, this mesh, it wouldn't surprise me if it was... Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's Canthal, and is I think it, it is on a package somewhere. It says solid Canthal A1 on a bunch of their labeling. So it may just not be on this too, but be on the other package. I got a... Uh... But man, it, it fires quick. You would think it's nichrome as quick as this uh, mesh fires. Oh, yeah? And, yeah, I mean, it, it glows freaking fast. <clears throat> because it, it the gauge is so small. <clears throat> are so high yeah right which allows and i didn't it says on the instructions you know it has a little tool and it says if there's hot spots work the work the mesh around but my mesh can just glue perfect straight out of the straight out of the package that's nice man i dry burned it some to get the cooties off and <laughs> it was straight light up in the center work to the outside and i mean it's like a freaking switch that's awesome. I, I'm going to be giving one away, but I, I probably, I, if I'm not going to review it, I probably won't vape it just like from moving forward, at least for a little bit. You know what I mean? So it's like, I, I don't, I probably, it, I'd rather just give it away than actually vape it. You know what I mean? Cause I would vape it for like yeah. a day and then go to something yeah. else. So it's just not worth it to me. The, um, so I was going to bring it low and show off this steam crave, uh, glaze RTA that, uh, Ooh. that Mr. Clint sent me. Let me see it. I haven't opened it, it yet. Show yeah. it to me, Scott. Let me show it to you, brother. I don't know if I have the... Oh, I do have the macro. Hold on. Let me see if I can get the macro on here. Move that up here. Put Replace my face with it. I don't know if this will work, guys. We're going to try this. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. Pretty cool, right? OBS is, can do things pretty neat. All right, so you can kind of see me back there. Let me see if I can make that a little bigger. Zoom it in a little bit. I think as soon as you take the plastic off, it'll be good. Yeah, let me get the plastic off of here. So here it is. This is what Clint said. Now, Clint said he absolutely loves this thing. So I'm really, really excited. And, I, and I'm going to go ahead and wick it. And we can just talk while I wick it. it be something to do. While we wait for that. Mr. Mr. Coil Chief that. to get here. <clears throat> I want that Titan kit that Steam Crave makes. With is the, uh, the huge tank and the... Um, the mod takes either three or four 18650s. 
Are you kidding me? Three or four, really? The tank holds 38 milliliters. Jesus. I could never get these things apart, Charlie. God damn it. All right. <laughs> Grab a tool here. And somebody's had the um, the Steve Crave Titan, the tank, and the mod on sale for like 100 125 bucks. Dude, I don't know how much this thing is, but it's really, really nice. I can I, tell. Yeah, it's a really, really nice. Looks like it's got two different bubble glasses here, uh, apparently the same size. Here's the actual RTA right there. It's got that honeycomb airflow that I love, bottom. And a glass. Oh, nice. So the... If you can see that there, the deck is visible through the glass. It's got like oh, a yeah. glass inner. All right, yeah. let's put this on. Let's mount this up, and then I'm going to throw one of, uh, one of Clint's coils in here. That thing's big, too, huh? What's that? The tank. Yeah, it's big. Uh, this has got to be probably, I would say it's a 30 mil, wouldn't you? It looks that way. I would measure it, but then I would probably cause panic in the chat, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> People would probably freak out if I measure it. So let's just not. Well, I can crack it apart. Let's do that first. Wow. Look at that. Oh, that was nice. So that's the inside of it there. Got like that Trinity glass cap on top. Oh, wow. It's like a glass bell cap inside. Yeah. So let's see if I can get this. So that comes off here. It's called the glaze, G L A Z. G L A Z, yeah. Or the glass. There you go. So there's the actual deck, postless deck. Uh, looks like it is a dual coil, or could be. Airflow right there at the bottom. So you know what? I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna build it as a dual. What the hell? Thirty millimeter uh, tank with seven milliliter liquid capacity. Well, you know what? I don't know how much. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put the bubble glass on it or not, quite frankly. This just sits down in there, nice and comfortable. Yeah, it's a nice, I'll tell you, man. Machining on this feels nice and heavy. Let's see here what it needs. Should be an Allen key in here somewhere. Let's see if there's one. Yep. Oh, yeah. Allen key, extra O rings. Lots of extra O rings in there. Nice little package of stuff. Little uh, tank guard there. What does it say? There can be only one. Do you know what that's from? There can be only uh, one. That's from Highlander. Okay. Yeah. Let's see here which one this would be. I bet you it's that one. So on the uh, Steam Crave site, the spare parts are cheap. Um, you can get a two pack of glass chambers for six bucks. That's awesome, man. If you ever do like me and drop it in the sink while you're washing it. Uh, dude, I'll <laughs> tell you, I am the absolute worst at that, bro. Absolute worst. All right, so let me see. I don't I don't know if it would just be, it'll be too hot if I build it with two, but I'm going to see what he's got in here, and I may just go ahead and try it. I know he sent me, like, three different sets of coils. Can you see that pretty good, Charlie? Does it look pretty good? Hey, there's a, there's a, yeah, it's good. All right, let me dump these. There's in. a little bit of a um a delay. I can't see OBS, so I'm watching it on YouTube. Okay, let's see. So I can't really tell which are which. I see an. I know I see a like a tricor alien. Got a nice staggered in here. Really, really nice stag. Yeah, let's do this. So, let me grab my coil jig. And I'm actually just going to run a single coil then. Let's see if that's a three mil. This is a really, really nice stagger then. So, let's just spin this around. And grab my pliers here. I'll be right back, Scott. Yep, no problem. I'll sit here and I'm just hanging out. Bend that down, pull this back. Bend that around this way until it's about even. 
There you go. Beautiful coil, Clint. Let's see if that fits. Yep, almost perfect. So let's get this in here. And let's see. Just want to see how deep it is first before I cut those leads. I'm not going to have to cut them too much. So we're going to take it. That's actually not too bad. I'm just going to take about a snip, just a little bit off of each one. Uh, looks pretty even to me. There we go. I'm going to leave it about like that. So let's go ahead and get this first one in here. Okay. 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 <laughs> If you guys can see me doing this here. All right, nice and tight. Now let's get this side over here in. All right, guys. far as I can get it. Let's see if I maybe take that out just a touch. Oops. Yep. Okay, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and close that down. That screwdriver does not look like it's fun to use. No, it's actually not bad at all. This one? Yeah, I yeah. love these. <laughs> I love them. Bring it up as high as I can. Try to get it as about right there. I don't want to turn it completely uh, sideways, which you're probably like, why are you doing it that way? I want it kind of at an angle, and I don't want to bring it all the way around because I don't want to stretch that lead out too far, and it looks like I want to keep it about like that. So let's just bring it just a little bit more, about like that. Yep, that looks really good. All right, let's wick this thing up. Now, That's Clint nice said ball. to be really light on the wicking. So, grab a coil thread. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and load it up and start vaping it. i got to grab some juice, but I'm just going to go ahead and vape it. Normally, I'd wash it all out, and I, I probably should, but for the sake of the show, I'll go ahead and do it. Let me clean up all these coils. Actually, he did send me a set of, I think those are the same... Looks like he sent me a few singles. These are, I'll tell you what, man. Hey, Scott. Yeah. You want to work out those hot spots before you uh, wick it? Yeah, probably so. I always do that, man. Thank you, thank you. I'm not good at doing like two things at once. I'm, not I'm watching on YouTube, so you were probably a lot further along than I. Huh? If there was a, did you juice it yet? Nah. No. There was a delay, so I didn't know if you already had juiced it up before I said something. Uh-uh, nah. I'm telling you, though, I like this good RDA, side. man. How are you really liking like the top RDA. side? I'm loving the top side, too. All right, let's see what this 30 mil looks like on the top side dual. If I can even get it to go down. It won't. I can't use it. I you can't? can't? No, it won't fit. If I take... If I take the top of the top side off, so if I take oh, this yeah. off and then just like use it to burn it in, I can I can get it on here. It says and the specs say 31 mils on a lot of the sites, so that knurling may be 31 mils. Ah. Uh, no, I mean for the tank. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Let me let me. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cause a commotion, but I'm gonna do it, Charlie. For the sake of the for the sake. Here we go. Micrometer. No. Well, let me get it on here. 30.27. Let me get it. See if I make sure I got it big enough. There we go. Hey, spring vaping. 30.16. So okay. it does not fit a 30 mil uh, RDA. So I put this to see if I can get back. Nah, it won't go on. It's probably 28 then. Yeah. So let's take this down to about. And I think that's about the same way the, the single is because I had a 27 on the single and it looked like a 28 would fit and that would be it. Grab some fly 
Thais. Oh. Damn, man, not many hot spots in this. Look at that. Perfect. What took one second to get? Wow. The guy, I'll tell you, Clint, these are gorgeous, man. Absolutely gorgeous. This is yeah. all stainless steel, too. So this is going to be a really, really exciting vape. Let's get a, let's get it wicked. Now, he said to wick it really. Oh, shit. Let's see how hot it is. Oh, it's cool. Dude, it's fine. I wicked hotter than I blindfolded. Well, the thing is with the cotton threads, right? You don't want these I little things. I used my fingers. Melting. I didn't even have cotton threads. You don't want to, uh, the little, how do you call it? What, anglets? Acklets? Angles? Aglets. Aglets. You had it right. Aglets? You don't want those burning up in the, uh, he said to barely wick it. So I got to see how long I want to cut this. But cotton threads are, I'm telling you, man. Although the cotton in the goat, I don't know what cotton they use in the goat, but I really like it. It's, um. I, um, I got some cotton threads, uh. I used them the first time. Do you like them? I'm not sure if it, I've got to give it another shot. Yeah. I didn't have a good experience, but it could have been, uh, it might not have been the cotton. It was a new RDA, new cotton. And when I, when I took, changed my coils up a little bit and re-wicked it with Maviton X, uh, it's, it's vaping really good. So now I've got to just re-wick it and see if it, see if I like the cotton. Cut that really I cut had it. too many new variables when I tried it. Let's do it in there. You pull that out and just look. Oh, I see. Okay. I see. I see. I thought it went down through the deck, but it doesn't. And that may be a little bit too wicked, honestly. I'm just going to take a little bit more off of that. I, I like it where the, in my RTAs, I like it where the wick barely touches the uh, the um, juice well or juice holes. So let's try that because that'll barely get in there. I don't know if it even fits now. There we go. That's perfect, man, for me. Absolutely perfect. Pull it just a bit so I make sure it fits. There we go. That's perfect. Tell you, you never spend more time than you do wicking an RTA. Because the wicking of it is so damn important, man. If you if you do it wrong, you'll get you just won't get good flavor from it at all. Oh, whoops. All right, that should be okay. Stuff right down in there. And that's a little well. It's a little long. Let me just pull it out and just give just a cut, just a little bit more off of it. There we go. Maybe just a little bit more. All right, let's see what that looks like. There's a channel. This guy, all he does is wick RDAs. Have you seen that guy? Like no, shows him replacing that. coils. I forget the name of his site. It's like something coil, coil R us or coil something like that, but it's actually really entertaining. All he, and all he does is wick RTA, RDAs, and he doesn't talk, and he like makes sound effects and stuff every time he does something. It has like really good That's sound funny. effects. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I watched like three of his videos there. I was like, "That's fucking awesome." Just you know, some dude wicks RDAs. Uh, and he edits some and all that shit. All right, let me grab some juice. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go upstairs and grab some, uh, well, I'm gonna grab some banana bottles. Now that everyone just saw Scott's butt crack. Did they? <laughs> you like that, do you? Hey, Jeff. Hey, Eddie and chat. Joey to the motherfucking O. Yeah, Ashley. 
Let's give a shout out to some of the people in chat. Let's see who's in here today. Quit looking at my booty, man. All right, we got cow's irons. All right, I'm going to show you something glorious. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at that. Look at that color. Wait, hold on. I can't see OBS. What? I can't see what's on your screen. I have to wait on it to catch up on your Oh, screen. okay, there you go. Oh, yeah. So how long has that been Steven? That's been Steve. I've had this for probably, I don't know, six or seven months. Oh, wow. I just opened it, though. But it. I have a hard time uh, not vaping the juice that I that I get from Dawn. I I have um, because I have, there's a couple that I really like and I vape them all, and then if, uh, I'll run across some of my friends that are custard people and send them some. It, it never sits around long enough to to steep. <sighs> All right, that is a point one nine build at. Now, obviously, I can't vape this with the damn case open, but I'm gonna wick it anyway. All right, now let's see if I can get this thing back together. So, first thing I need to do is I'm going to. I believe. Does this just sit on top of that? Place this down on here and screw this on. And I probably got to make sure it lines up with the w juice ports. I would assume. I think it's called, I think it's pronounced glass. Glaze? Yeah, I think it's glass. Glass? Yeah, what was the Z? Glaze? <laughs> glass. Glass. <laughs> Don't tell me my business, boy. At least you don't say smock. No, I don't say I say smoke. That doesn't feel like it wants to fit over top of that. That does not feel like it. Okay, maybe it sits up like that, I guess. Okay, so let's just put this back in here. Let's put it on top, and then... What did I do wrong, Charlie? What... Did I do wrong? Because it de the, that piece does not want to fit over top of that deck. Is there like an instruct instruction booklet that has a little well, break? you would think, but... Like a flyout shot? Would you tell me to look at the instructions, Charlie? <laughs> Are you telling just me the, the greatest the coil builder <laughs> on earth to look at instructions on how to wick this thing? Hold on. There's something in here. I'm getting it. Okay. Step one. Step two. Here, hold on. There's some steps. All right. How to install correctly. All right. There we go. Step one. I got step one done. Okay. First, connect the metal base. First. Connect the metal base to glass. You need special attention. Glass could break or crack if assembled dry the first time. I really don't want to force that down on there. But it was on. It was on there. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, let me let me try this real quick. Let me take this off. Let me grab my sweet screwdriver, and then let's do this. So you see those little screws are sticking out there? Don't see it, do you? Well, you do now. <laughs> I'm going to screw yeah. those back in. How's the chat doing? Are people yelling at me yet? Is anybody no. yelling at me in chat? Come All right, on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my shout out in chat real quick. That do I your shout outs, Charlie. 
God's sakes, man. God Save this fucking show. Hold on a second. <laughs> say, so he leaves. Why'd you leave, Charlie? I need you to save the show. Oh, yeah, that works now. That's perfect. That was the problem. Travis, you avoided, Charlie. Oh, great, you just left. It's going to break. It's not going to break, V-Dog. God damn it. It's not going to break. No way in hell. No way in hell this thing is going to break. I'm telling you right now. I am a professional. I have got this down pat. No way in hell this will break. All right. Now, put that on top. Oh, perfect. Break my ass. Break my ass. No way in hell, guys. You don't know who you're messing with here. I am a master. All right, I got it. I think most people were watching, assuming that was going to break. Oh, look at there. I'm going to fill it up. I'm going to fill it up. Here we go. A little blueberry. Oh, shit. God damn it. I didn't. Hold on. Rookie mistake. I'm back in the game. Got to close off the airflow. Got to close off the airflow before I do that. Charlie's like, I'm going to give a shout out. He just leaves. <laughs> Fuck you guys. You get no shout out. All right. Looks like it's full. Looks. Close that there. Open it up. See if the bubbles come. Okay. No bubbles. Not wick correctly. Does not appear to be wick correctly. It's not going to stop me, though. Ain't nothing going to break my stride. <laughs> All right. Take it back up top. What do you say? Let's move that up here. Now, you see how easily I'm going to take this back up top? Watch this. Whoop! There I am, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, OBS test. That's not it. Macro. Right there. Gone. Fucking, I, I tell you, I am my own production assistant now. Let's take a little vape off this, man. I hope I don't spill my juice. It's a lot of air. Mm, it's okay so far. I gotta let it break in. I gotta let that cotton break in because I'm not getting much flavor off of it right now. But let that break in. I think I wicked it correctly. All right. The president was here. He said he heard I needed to report a complaint, so I told him about Coil Chief not being able to be on the show. Did you talk to the president? Mm -hmm. President of the United States? Yeah. Trump? Yep. The Donald. The Donald. I just call him the Donald. I call him Don. Donnie. <laughs> Donnie T. So he's going to make sure that Coil Chief never misses a black cat whiteface show again. Better not. Did you hear about uh, Did you hear about the fucking Trump invited all the uh, kids from Clemson up there to the White House because they won the, the national championship? Did you hear about this? Yeah, I knew about that. You hear what he ordered for food? <laughs> no, what did he order? He got a McDonald's and Burger King. What a dick. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. I mean, I now, now don't don't take this the wrong way. McDonald's and Burger King, I love you guys. I think you're fantastic. Like McDonald's and Burger King, are gonna watch me. But I love McDonald's and I love Burger King too. So I'm not cracking on it. But these kids just won the national championship. They're student athletes, and you take them to fucking you get a McDonald's. Like that's just <laughs> fucked up. That's just yeah, fucked up. I mean, me. what they should do is all those expensive dinners and catering that they have for the Senate and the Congress. They should have took one of those meals. Well, that's the thing is they couldn't do that because off. there's no, uh, there's no, there's no government right now. Everything's shut down, right? Yeah, the United but, States is on free is basically on free run. But they are having a hearing today, uh, confirming what the uh, Attorney General, I think. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They did that, didn't they? Confirming the Attorney General. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, that's good for them. I know absolutely nothing about politics at all. Like, literally, I know the president in, that's about it. I know nothing else. <laughs> I have, like, the worst. Which is probably good, because it sounds like most people who are really into it are, are just crazy about it. 
it almost seems like it's maddening to them almost you know what i mean yeah and it, it's just it to me it's like can. not even it's just not even worth getting upset about for me right it? it's not like if mcdonald's took away the quarter pounder oh my god i'd be furious the quarter pounder with cheese i'm telling you whatever scientist um Whatever scientist and whatever laboratory somewhere in the United States designed that that taste of that burger should get a Nobel Prize. Yep. All right. So while you break that in, let me shout out the chat since I've now been interrupted twice. And only once was by you. <clears throat> Man, I'm not seeing everybody. Now I see what I see what you mean. Not everybody shows up. No. Nah. Cow's irons, dark side coils. Eddie T. Hell. What's up, Eddie? Ian Thomas and Joey to the motherfucking O. Joey. Here with Ian. Louisiana, one of, the, one of the patrons. We got a bunch of your patrons in here today. They all show up. The Black Cat fam shows up in force. We're like a gang. We got Mike. We're like a and gang of like mildly mannered people. <laughs> Mr. Pebble. Mr. Pebbles here, like always. Spring vaping girl. I sent Spring as package. She's got a little package on the way for me. Um, Tony Berry and Turbonetta. Builder, Turbonetta? Yeah, he's a builder. He went up against, uh, hey, Turbonetta, who'd you go up to? You went to, up against Nick Devine, didn't you, in the build off? See, like, Charles you know McClay. Who was the swing vote? Do you know who the swing vote was in that one? Who was the swing? Man. <laughs> I hope you. Who was he against? Nick, Nick. Devine? Ooh, that's a tough one. He beat him. He beat him. It, it's a, I was, I'll tell you, I was really impressed by him. I was really impressed. I thought it was a I'm fantastic go check. I didn't see it. I'm going to have to go back and see it. Yeah. You have to take into it. In that build off, we were taking into account drill time. So, like, I would be like me. If, if you put me in a build off where you take into account drill time, I would it, like basically yeah. a six year old could beat me because I have a lot of drill time and I'm not very good. And All right. like, like, literally, like, I, I would get destroyed. Like, if you take that. Hang on, let me call out a few more because I oh, missed yeah. a bunch. We got Saturation Station, uh, Charles McClare and the Baron checking in from his Mass yacht. coils, okay. Big G's coils. Uh, Kate Nicole, Mike Bird, Kim Dixon, Philly Vape. What's up, Philly? Glad you came by. The Bristol Vapor. Tracy is here like always. And I think I called almost everybody. Tommy. Tommy Vapors is in the house. Tommy to the motherfucking V. Yeah. And I think we called everybody now. Buddha, Todd Black. Addy. Addy Tooney. Fabian. <laughs> What's up, Addy Tooney? H. Sorry, H. I missed Royals. you, Addy Tooney, the first round. G.I. Jane. G.I. Jane's been having a hard time at work. I need to call her boss. Yeah, she's boss. been kind of stressed out lately. She she said, well, she's not, I don't know if she's stressed. She just, it just, there, I don't know, a lot of stuff going on. Like, what she does is really intense. Anarchy really intense. coil. I see you, buddy. AC. That big winner right there. He won a, uh, won him a mech mod, didn't he? Stack mech mod from Tom. Oh, he's the, he's the one that won that. Yeah. 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 Damn. Anarchy coil sure did. I try like hell to get you to rig that in my favor. I don't rig them. I really wanted that package. Never, ever, ever. I've had, okay, so I'm going to tell you this. Now, not recently, but I've had people approach me about rigging it. Like, so they're like, hey, man, you know, I'll do this or I'll give you this if you make sure that I win. And I, I never do. I, you can, you'll never, ever, never, ever why rig one. Never. So that beats. Like we had one point where somebody won, like I forget who it was. We had one where like somebody won three weeks in a row, and oh. like, they were like, "You got to take them out." Like, no, it's 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 random. You can't take them out. You just got to keep going. I mean, <laughs> you know, they they keep win. It's fair. M sixteen right? won a couple of times. A couple of like one. He's won. I can't remember who it was that won three times in a row. But it was somebody because I remember I was packaging stuff up, and that week I had to send to one guy. He just kept winning. I was like, okay, <laughs> you know, it's all you. Saves you, saves you on shipping. <laughs> yeah, right. Asa, if not the math teacher, is in the house. Roger, what's up, dude? Big Heather G. Jill. 
Thanks Heather's for showing up, guys. One. Jeff, La Jeff, Steven Seagal, Lawman is in the house. <laughs> so uh, there's Ben, Al Ben. I hit it once, he said. He hit it once. All right. We, good for we've, him. Had, we've had a, a good bunch. All our regulars have been in throughout the show. Oh, yeah. You know, they come in to see what kind of fucking mess I've made of this show. At least for a minute. Yep. They might have heard the micrometer was out. Mike Berg in the house. What's up, Berg? So, how's yeah. the tank? How's the tank? Uh, I didn't get good flavor off of it, but I haven't broken it in. I may have to adjust the coil. I may have to adjust the coil. It's fucking awesome of Clint to send you all Dude, that Clint's stuff. Clint's awesome, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess with it. He watches the show at, what, like 5.30 or 7.30 in the it's morning? It's early, like 7 in the morning. Yeah, he watches me. Yeah, his Get wife awesome. lets him watch it in the in, in uh, when he's waking up. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I love Clint, man. He's a fantastic guy. Me and Jennifer woke up uh, Sunday. We were relaxing in bed and then watching goofy shit. So I went back and watched Jay Hayes' old videos from like five years ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's really funny. Back before he became the Jay Hayes we know. Is that when he used to do the, uh, you got one live vape it? For the vape yeah. life, yeah, that's where vape life came from. Was yeah. you have you have one life, but it's when he was shooting out on this balcony before he. I remember I think that. Before he even had the shop. He was just selling. Uh, what was it? He was he sold on eBay to get the money to buy the shop. It was funny, not the volcano. Anyway, one of the old starter kits. He sold those on eBay. He's really, making for the shop. Yep. Yeah. I'll be damned, man. That's awesome, dude. Self-made man right there. Yeah. Man, they're That's not a tough thing you... to own, though, I'll tell you. Buying a, a vape shop with all the regulation stuff coming, you don't know. That's why I don't have one. It's I just hard. I couldn't jump in the risk when I was considering. I was really close in 2015 Damn. starting a vape shop. But here in Louisiana, it, it was risk just on the customer base because vaping is not huge here anyway. And then the FDA regulations that were coming. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen from one day to the next. I mean, yeah. you know, they could drop a fucking they could drop a bill on it. And, and the next thing you know, it's completely <laughs> shut down. And yeah, exactly. The good thing is it feels like a lot of the regulation that has been made has uh, tried to centralize sales. And by that, I mean, trying to centralize sales to the shops. Yeah. Um, and take it away from the internet, which hurts consumers price wise, but it is good for the industry because I feel like most shops um, really watch who they sell to. Yeah. And, I would much uh, rather see uh, someone get educated on vaping in a shop than just walking into a gas station. Yeah. Uh, I love the convenience store because so many people get started there. But if we did have, if it was more vape shops centralized, we would have more vape shops. So there would probably be places for people to, to go in. Oh, well, looky here. What's up, dude? Hold on. Let me readjust my screen. You, you're here for the last five minutes, Neil. Let me get you. Hey, brother. Here. How you hey, doing, Neil? man? Hey, sorry. Hold hey, on. Scott's got, fun. Scott's got your head cut off, but he's Let me fixing it. Here. I'm fixing it. <laughs> All right, let me make this a little back in the normal size. How you doing, Neil? Hey, brother. Sorry. I literally oh, you're fine, just... man. Yeah, we got about five minutes left, dude, but we can sit here and talk for a little bit. Bullshit a little bit. We had a good time uh, looking at your builds and everything yesterday, man. Yeah, man, that was really cool, dude. Pretty really beautiful honest. work. Hey, thank you. How was your uh, so tell us what what's going on with your photography, man? What do you got going on? Uh, well, I mean, the last couple of months, I've always said that I was going to get into trying to do better than my cell phone shots. Um, yeah. and bought a camera like a year ago. <laughs> uh, I think I remember when you bought it actually because you're we were all in the same chat, we're on the same build team, so we were on the same chat when you were looking for one, yeah, and um. You know, I always said I was going to do it and never did. And uh, one day I just, I guess, gave up and said, I'm going to do it. And uh, it's been an adventure, man. Like, it's been different. Uh, I thought building took a lot of time, but uh, photography, yeah. that's a lot of time. 
right? Yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it almost seems like it, it and it's it's a lot more expensive uh, hobby than that's what I was going to say. <clears throat> yeah, it can be, man. Um, it's it's one of those that's kind of expensive to get into, but not too bad to maintain as long as you don't go crazy, which right. is hard to do sometimes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've I've been trying to do better and trying to get better, and um, luckily, you know, I got picked up by a couple of different sponsors here and there, and the groups, uh, you know, they've got group meets and chats and stuff like that for the same type of deal. And the guys in there, man, they are phenomenal photographers, and it's just been so much help. And uh, it's just like building, man. I mean, it's like a whole other community inside of vaping. Um, yeah. Just, uh, How, who's been the most helpful for you uh, with doing it? Uh, that's tough. Um, Phil uh, Vapix, uh, you know, he's helped out a lot uh, here and there. Um, Tim uh, T. Hercule. Uh, he's helped out a lot here and there. Um, Rye, uh, Vapor, uh, he's helped me out a lot here and there. And um, I mean, kind of something like this, you know, we'll just get on live chat and talk to each other and walk me through how to do something, or I'll walk someone else through how to do something. And it's kind of nice to be able to turn that around too and give that back and help other people get their up too. So it's pretty cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I, I don't know Phil, but I mean, I, I've seen his work. And the guy has oh. like a hundred and something thousand followers on Instagram, and it's like his work. Yeah, he's amazing, dude. I know Matt, and I, I, I know Massey helped me a lot when I first yeah. started trying to do it, man. It, and it's a, it is a lot of work now. It's unbelievable yeah. how much work it is, and it's amazing to see like how you're how you've progressed and how everything has taken off for you, man. I'm so happy for you. It's like yeah, it's been great, man. It's been a hell of a ride. I mean, from some chucklehead that was just doing stuff in his living room to where I've come today is kind of crazy. <laughs> it's awesome, man. It's great, dude. It's freaking awesome. And I tell you, it couldn't happen to a better guy. When, so just real quick, we only got a few minutes left, but I just want to kind of touch on uh, how you started building, what got you into it. How long did you vape before you started building and why did you make the transition to building? Um, well, I was on the ship at the time. Um, Maybe so. I was on the ship at the time, and I was using an old crown, like the original crown tank, and some little beater mod. And uh, another buddy of mine who was a pretty heavy vapor, been in vapor for a long time, you know, he asked me, but have you ever tried a rebuildable gear track like that? Said, no, I've never even seen one. And uh, he had an old onslaught, little three coil RDA. Huh. Uh, and he's like, hey, I'll, I'll build this for you, show you how to do it, and you try it out and tell me if you don't like it better. And uh, 20 gauge wire, we did a quick little, like, three little eight wraps, threw it in there, and it was just night and day, man, and I never looked back. Yeah. That's awesome. Went home, threw the tank away. <laughs> yeah, once you, exactly. Once you start building it, there's, like, no turning back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ever. Yeah. And I just, I, you know, I got into just trying to learn how to build a basic coil, and then um, I started Googling how to do it because I couldn't remember exactly what he told me, and I didn't want to bug him. Yeah. Um, that's when I started to find all the twisted messes and, you know, Squid Dude, all those videos yeah. online. I was like, holy crap, I can do all of this? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I started building without even swivels. Like, I didn't know that that was a thing until I saw an M-Turk video one time. And I was like, oh, that would make this so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I learned from Twisted, and I did Fuse Clapton's just the hand trick with yeah. the wires loose on the ends. For... Yeah. Just wire flipping around everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually kind of nice to do it that way. I kind of like it. It's a yeah, I'll do it for a short strand. I'll do it sometimes. Yeah, I kind of like it. Back when people use like Clapton in like thirty-four gauge, thirty, you know what I mean? Thirty-two, yeah. thirty-four gauge Claptons. Yeah, I kind of like doing it that way. It's hard on your fingers though. That's for sure. Yeah. I was at um, I was at VaporCon West and uh, Squid. Um, oh boy and twisted messes were all sitting at the table spinning together and nobody had swivels back then i've got a picture with all of them just working the wire out and uh squid yeah. dude was doing uh staples with uh with no no swivels like i can't i can't even imagine like i never really got great at clapton's doing it i remember the first one that came out clean for like four inches and i was super excited I, Squ squid dude used to do staggers with no swivels. Wow. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think he has yeah. a video up where he does it, where he just holds it going down. It's like, how in the hell are you doing that, man? I remember seeing that, and, and I, I was using swivels as soon as I started because I knew, like, I had seen the M Turk video with um, mm-hmm. Local Vape with Homeboy. And yeah. so I had known to buy, to buy swivels, and I bought, like, I think I went to Walmart, got, like, the old fishing swivels. And, uh, yeah, that's how I started out. Yeah, that's how I started, too. It really wasn't until I got on the build team that I learned that there are better quality swivels out there. (laughs) Yeah. And uh, that was really what picked up my game a lot was, you know, the guys in the the team, you know, helping me out and teaching me some of the tricks of the trade and saying, you know, just all the little things that, you know, that we now take for granted. But at the time, I didn't know that stuff. Mm -hmm. It was really nice to, to... I would definitely not be where I'm at today without those guys, without question. Absolutely. I think it was for me. Like I, they they push us. Like uh, so when I joined the band, it's like they pushed me to like get better. You know what I mean? Yeah. And pay attention because I was so sloppy. Like I just didn't care. This is kind of my personality. And they were like, "No, it needs to be right, and you need to do it this way." And I'm like, <laughs> "Okay." And yeah. uh, you know, so I paid more attention to like how I did things. Got neater with my builds, and uh, yeah, and just sharing information too. Like, you know, people figure out things, how they work, and, like, little tips that they can give you. You know, it's huge. It's huge because, you know, it's impossible to learn that stuff on your own, all of it at least, you know? Yeah, yeah if you're lucky, you'll come across some of those tips just by accident and happen into them, but you'll definitely, I mean, it, yeah, I, I definitely would not be where I'm at without those guys. Absolutely. I know I 100% agree, man. I 100% agree. It, it's getting on a build team, whether it's just, you know, you know, getting on a build team is not the easiest thing to do. I mean, you have to be, especially teams that are already established, because they're not really looking to pick up members typically. I mean, some do, some don't. Uh, I know we haven't picked up members ever, no. I don't think. Right. And, uh, you know, so it, it, the best thing to do for anybody out there who's starting is start your own build team. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Find guys and start your own team and then just start sharing information, sharing resources, yeah. and get That's it going. Good. Get yeah. your name out there. No, drop some great builds. Builders are out there that aren't on a build team. Um, there's a ton of folks. I mean, I every day I scroll through the little search function on Instagram and find a new builder. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the best. Yeah, some of these guys. I mean, they come out of the woodwork. They've got like five followers, and they're building stuff that guys with twenty thousand followers can't do. Yeah, isn't that great when you Neil, find somebody? Uh, yeah, Neil, real yeah. quick, man. Thank you for your service. Yeah, oh, hey, Neil, absolutely, too. man. <laughs> Very. I don't cool. know how you manage all that and the photography that you do. It's freaking gorgeous. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it, man. It's, that's fun. Uh, it's it's like anything, man. I mean, you, you you sacrifice to do the things that you either love or want to do. And yeah, yeah. Um, I I find time, to make time. <laughs> yeah, it's you. You uh, I had to cut back a lot when I. And it was kind of like for me, it was like either I do the YouTube or I do photography, because I was like like yeah. that cusp, and yeah. then I just went with the YouTube. Yeah. I think YouTube's way easier than doing the photography <laughs> stuff. Is hard, so I was like, eh, yeah. I think I'll do the. Uh, you know, I pretty much always take the easy way out of things. It's like I just photography, YouTube stuff. To me, photography is kind of like golf. You spend your whole life doing it. it you know, you, you always want to get better. I think at it like golf. Yeah. 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 And it, that's the hundred percent truth, man. Like I learn something all the time. I, you know, I'll be in fooling around, and you know what? I think a lot of people don't see in, and I'm sure I'm not the only one like this. What a lot of people don't see is they see that one post a day or two posts a day that we throw up, but they don't see the two hundred photos we make. Yeah, up. yeah. Um, you know, and it is a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of hey, got this idea and I think it'll work, and then you find out after two hundred shots that that's just as bad. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, but uh, the the community, you know, just like in the inside of the regular building community, inside the regular vaping community, the photography community inside of vaping. I mean, probably one of the coolest groups I've I've run into outside of builders. Man. They really are good guys, and they always push everybody to try to make them better. And um, you know, we just like what we do with builds. You know, we post yeah. our builds. And stuff. Hey, man, you know, you should try doing this. You should try doing that. Same way with photos. They say, hey, you know, you can do it this way, you can do it that way, or here's a better way. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's really, really cool, man. A whole nother, whole nother group of friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You make great friends in this community. That's for sure. I know that's, that's a fact. Well, hey, man, I know we had to cut it short. I got a show wow. coming up right after this one, so I got to go. 
<laughs> so, hey, are- Neil, thanks for joining, though, man. We, I'll tell you, we got to do it again, man, so you can get a whole show and we can talk. Hey, days, right? What's that? The one of these days, right? One of these days, absolutely. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Vape at five um, will live on, so we'll be man, awesome, man. I'm so proud of you. I can't. Even thanks, tell Neil. You, man. I love your channel. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate it. It's awesome. I feel the same way, man, for you. So, excellent. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining, guys. We had uh, just kind of a little little smorgasbord of stuff going on today. Uh, do you guys want to say anything before I shut her down? Oh, just make sure you guys check out uh, Neil's page, Coil Chief. Make sure y'all go for those pictures for the giveaway. Share. Absolutely. Sure yeah, I appreciate it, man. You get, give Neil some love, man. The link to his page is below to enter the giveaway for tomorrow. Now, those who stuck around, there's going to be a giveaway tomorrow for three set for a set of uh, Neil's coils and two 30 mils of a Dory liquid. Put a number between 1 and 150 in Monday's episode of the Vape at 5. That's yesterday's episode of the Vape at 5. So do that. Also, at 6 o'clock, go to the Advanced YouTube channel and check out their new release uh they're doing some mixing stuff really beautifully edited together and just a great show i hope you guys get to see it i will be there checking it out until tomorrow we're doing a review of the goat rda tomorrow so we're gonna take a look at that i will see you tomorrow on the vape at five everybody have a great night all right thanks neil it's cool to meet hey, you having me see guys, you guys. <laughs>